That's what I'm talking about right there. That's a nice one. Yes. Initially, I thought that was a log and turned out to be a big old alligator gar carcass. Well, I'm gonna run y'all through my little checklist that I usually do. First thing I do is I find structure. Looking for Sakale, you wanna find the structure. I've said it plenty of times in my other videos, you wanna find structure, whether that be a mat, uh, stumps, laydowns, anything like that. That's what you're gonna look for, that's number one. Number two, make sure you fan cast. Search that whole little area before you move on to another area. Try different colors, different size, jig heads, and your depth. So, functioning within that zone. That's number three. Number four is make sure you bring enough tackle because fishing around stumps and structure you're always gonna get hung up. You're gonna lose a lot of equipment. It's just the way it is, it's the nature of the beast. I just lost a cork and thankfully it just floated back to me, but that's what it is what it is. Number five, whenever you catch a fish, try to replicate that as much as you possibly can. Remember, socle feed facing up like this. They, if you ever seen them in a fish tank, they always sit up like this, looking up at the top. So do that. Let If you see stuff hitting the top of the water, just try that. You know, try to maybe even throw a little top water or anything. Just, just try things. That's the thing. You got to try things to learn. That's just the way it is. Little, little perch. Got some red on him, he's pretty. That's really about it, that's all I'm getting right now. Seen probably about a five pound bass, like right there, past me. I threw at him with the jig, he ain't want no part of that. Well, Big G caught some fish, showing us rookies how to catch fish. He caught a nice socklet right here. That's a nice one. Oh, all right. Uh, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Where's the other one? And then they caught like a little medium sized one. That's a nice one right here though. Oh, they got some size on them today, boy. You do? I don't even know what I did, but hopefully it works. Just add a little trailer to the back of the tube, get a little more hacks, something else for them to look at. All right. Oh, man. Where? It's about three and a half, four. Might even be bigger than that. Are you looking at the two? I don't even see him anymore. Yeah. He's about like that, dude. Probably about 18, 21. He's coming in. Come on. That was popping his mouth, baby. The big one? Yeah. That was the one he had been looking for. See him on the outside? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, guys, Big G caught two sockele, two goggle eye, and a couple bowfin. So he was the master fisherman of the day. George caught two goggle eye, I caught a sockele, and a little perch. So uh, that's all we did for this day. I mean, it uh, won the best of days, but see, I had this last part of this video. When I was saying early in the video, I seen that big bass. He cruised right through that little open area, and I seen him, but he was nowhere close to where the bed was. Well, Big G, I, George was fishing the uh, bed. We all threw at the bed. Couldn't get neither of them to bite. I mean, we were also standing right over the top of them, so they really didn't want nothing to do with it. But uh, they were flaring their mouths open like that. They were mad. And then the female was a pretty big girl. Um, she was sitting there. They were both flicking each other's mouths, opening them out and everything. The sign of aggression. But uh, we didn't have any really bass tackle with us. The only thing that we had was we had a little crawfish and we had a, a fluke. And uh, we threw it on the bed. We shook it and we did that. We worked on it for like 30 minutes. And a male. But uh, couldn't get him to bite. But uh, thank y'all for watching the video. I hope y'all liked it. I'll make this short and sweet. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Drop me a like. Hit me up in the comment section if you want to talk. I'm going to see y'all next time. Later.